Hey everybody, Jason Creel here and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I want to talk to you about why I made the decision to kill my entire lawn and start over. And talk to you about the process of, of, of growing in a new lawn and not doing it the traditional way. I'm not going to be seeding my lawn or putting, you know, full rows of sod down in the lawn. I'm going to tell you my strategy and love to hear your thoughts on it. And because some of you may have more experience with this than I do. So, so let's show you the progress we've made so far, explain to you why I'm doing what I'm doing, and then I'll tell you what the future plan is. Let's get started. Quick recap here. I've lived in this house since last fall and inherited a, a fairly rough yard. I've got um, five and a half acres, but it, it was not clear. The yard had been sort of neglected, it got some centipede, and it was just mostly weeds out here. And, um, some Bermuda and what I did was was just been working on trying to get the weeds out and Growing in the Bermuda and that was going fine But I think you know, this may be a house that we stay in for a long time And I just want it to look better than fine I want it to be a really nice yard and I've just come to the conclusion that the way it was going I'm not gonna have a really nice yard unless I just basically start over now the problem is you can see here we, we've been clearing a lot of trees okay so you see piles over there and um there's more piles and and there's more piles and, and we've we've got trees forever and cleared a lot of land and i'll show you that in a minute but uh as far as the lawn goes so as far as the lawn goes here here's the idea uh, the bermuda was spread and this is just common bermuda which is fine it's not you know it's not great it, it it, it looks fine it just it's a little bit coarse it puts out a seed head you know after several days and i and, and i'm wanting just a better quality grass you know i wish i had zoysia and if i was you know very wealthy i'd probably put zoysia here it does very well in my area and you can see big brown ears in here where i've killed off crabgrass I had a lot of crabgrass in the yard and the bermuda's starting to fill in and if i would have pushed it hard with fertilizer I believe I could have filled in the entire yard with Bermuda this year. But again, it would have been common Bermuda and my yard would have still been kind of lumpy. So what, I, what I'm going to do is we've got a skid steer. I was going to get a, a what's called a Harley rake or some people call it, I think, a power rake or something. Basically, it's a, a wheel on the front. It's attachment. It goes on the front of the skid steer. It has teeth on it and a roller. And I was going to come in here and just till this whole thing up. Uh, first, I'm going to kill the whole yard and just spray it and kill it. And then I was going to till it and, and hopefully make it level. And I may still do that. But I've got a, a more skilled operator with the skid steer, more skilled than me, which is not saying a whole lot, but he uh, is, is good on it. And he may be able to, just with a bucket, come in here and scrape this and make it flat. And, you know, not just make it f perfectly flat. I mean, the water needs to drain somewhere, so we may actually work on that. But if he can get it flat enough, uh, to do that and then go ahead and put some sod down now the reason I'm doing sod I can get seed for some you know a little bit better quality Bermuda but I believe from the research I've done talking to people that the best quality Bermuda is is gonna come in the form of sod and I just don't know from seed if I can get as good a quality Bermuda as I can from sod now, the problem is it's a large area, and I would just to do this front yard, I might need 20 pallets of sod, not counting the part that's been cleared over there and over there. I mean, literally, with all the that I've cleared off, I don't think 100 pallets of sod would be enough. And that's, of course, I'm not going to do 100 pallets of sod. I, I, if I laid that out, one, I can't afford it, two, I wouldn't be able to walk for a month if I put 100 pallets of sod out. Uh, because I'd be so sore. So here's the plan. I was gonna sprig the grass, get it all tilled up, and and buy. I bought a chipper shredder thing that you use to chip limbs up. I was gonna put the sod in there, let it cut the sod up into pieces, sprinkle it out over the yard, water it like crazy, and the Bermuda would take root. Well, the problem is when I put the piece of sod, I bought a test piece of sod. I put it through the chipper shredder, and it chipper shredded it all to nothing. It was just a little bit of dirt left. I mean, it just disintegrated the whole piece of sod. So that wasn't gonna work. I know sod farms can do it for you, but the problem is irrigation is gonna be an issue. I, I found a, a sod farm that would sell me 50 bushels of you know sod sprigs that, and it was gonna be $1,000 and they were gonna deliver it. But I, I was like, how do I 
keep all that watered. I don't have irrigation. 50 bushels sounds like a lot because if you can get the Bermuda going, it'll really spread. So here's what I'm gonna do. And tell me your thoughts on this. We're gonna get it scraped clean with the, you know, maybe using the Harley rake, maybe just using the bucket, but get it level and scraped. And then I'm gonna buy some sod, maybe a tractor trailer load, which might be 12 pallets or so. That's the plan. And that's not gonna be, a, I mean, maybe that would be enough to do this front yard, but I'm wanting to do like three acres worth of sod here, which again would take a lot, a lot of sod. So what I'm gonna do is just put the pieces of sod out here and, you know, in, in not necessarily solid form. I'm gonna spread them out and let them spread. Now the problem is, the time of this video is August the 2nd when I'm shooting this, and that, that's not good because I wish I was doing this on about May the 2nd where I had more time to grow in the Bermuda. I feel like I could do this and it would work great. I'm a little bit late. I'm kind of, uh, the Bermuda's gonna start slowing down here in the next month or so, so. Uh, but I just thought, you know what? I wanna get started this year. I don't wanna wait. I wanna go ahead and put it out. Let it start spreading. It's not gonna cover the whole yard. It's gonna look terrible. But then what I can do is come in here and overseed it with ryegrass this winter, which I still don't know is a great idea because you know just having a, a young Bermuda lawn, it's got a lot of space in it, but it'll at least hold the dirt in place. So that's the plan. Just trying to be open with y'all. I've changed my mind on this several times, but this is what I'm, I'm thinking about doing. And I'll have a good quality Bermuda grass I know some of you think there's no such thing, but but I believe that there is, and it's gonna be the cheapest, most effective option for giving me long-term nice yard. And it's gonna take probably till next year before it fills in and really spreads. So next year I'll have to push it hard with fertilizer and get it to spread. So anyway, that's the plan. I'm gonna get rid of the centipede grass I have over here. Honestly, the Bermuda, I got a lot of sun. It'll probably grow in most of my yard. There may be some areas and I'll show you what we've done back here and some of the clearing that we've done. There may be some areas where the Bermuda is not gonna grow and I may have to go with zoysia just because of, of shade factor. So you see, you know, when you got a large tree like that with that swing hanging from it, you know, if I wanna get grass to grow over there, I'm gonna probably have to do some zoysia. And I may put some privacy trees. I'm looking at, y'all have information on this, I'm looking at the, the Thuja Green Giant Arborvitas. I think the one's called a Japanese Cedar. And then the, uh, but I can't think of the name of the, the other big common one that people use all the time for making shade, you know, making barriers and borders and sort of that thing. So you see here, got, got lots of riprap. If you, if you followed this project, we didn't have riprap on this side before. Now I've got riprap and got a, you know what i consider to be a pretty nice road so still got some work to do okay but it's we're pretty much done with the track hole clearing the land but i want sod to be all back here now i got a lot of trees that i desperately want to get rid of but we got you know a big area back here you can see it's large space so just it's not just saying well i just sod this thing solid i mean there, there's no telling what that would cost so i need to just put the bermuda out here water it and let it start to spread and eat if that takes next year and i may oversee this whole area with ryegrass because i'm afraid this winter this is going to be very muddy but first i got somebody coming in with the skid steer to kind of grade this out make it as level as possible and then hopefully get the grass down the sod down as soon as possible because again i'm running out of warm weather and i want the bermuda to spread as much as it can this year that way I'll have an early start heading in the next year. If I was able to start this two months ago, I think I could have really grew in a yard. The one other advantage I have is I do have a well on the property and we're gonna work on getting the well water, run pipes back here so that I can get irrigation. Now it may be next year, you know, before I have all that set up, but if I have irrigation back here, that's gonna be all the better. So there's the, the track hoe that's been doing the work as far as clearing the land. And you can see we've cleared a lot. And I said, at least for me, it was a lot. It wasn't, I think it took them about six days. We cleared, I don't know, it probably ended up being three acres worth of land. And, you know, like I said, hopefully next week, this is all gonna get smoothed out 
and I need sod all over here too. You know, I don't want just solid grass. I want a lot of grass. I could have left more trees. We tried to leave a few trees. There's a few small oak trees and things like that that we did leave. But I just wanted mostly grass because I knew that's what I know how to maintain. And I didn't want it being something that couldn't be maintained. Now we're gonna, again, use some privacy trees and things like that to take up some space probably do I want to get a blueberry farm going maybe you know I'm thinking 50 blueberry plants and things like that that can take up space but make use of the land and not just have it being a bunch of brush that's non-usable so a, a tractor trailer load is not gonna be near enough side to side this whole place solid but I know if I can get it going that it'll really spread next year especially if I can water it and fertilize it and I think a year from now should have you know a lot of grass and if it's somewhere i'm going to live for a long time then i'm willing to to wait a year to have a really nice level lawn as opposed to just trying to make the most of it this year and not being happy with how it turns out let me hear your thoughts you have better ideas of how to go about that the sprigging like i said the, the pro i think the sprigging would work i just i'm concerned about being able to water it you know and i need a week where it's going to rain every day for a week and uh just i don't know i'm just thinking the sod may be a uh, a better situation some people brought up the point about you put sod out kind of random spots would it, is it not going to be kind of lumpy when it spreads and that is maybe somewhat of concern um, but i think if the dirt's soft enough i could even press the sod down into the dirt to make it more level and and i think over time it'll it'll even out so yeah it may not be perfectly level because i'm not you know laying the sod solid but I, I still think it'll be uh pretty well over time appreciate you watching the video keeping up with you on the on the project here uh, it's been something that it's a, a process for us and something we're enjoying and hopefully looking forward to the long-term results of having a really nice property talk to you guys later bye